to enjoy another honour. Will she do it? Based on form, you have to go with I'll Greaves. Say. But you can never count out Suzuki, who today has at times been tested and come through with flying colours, especially against De Graff, where she needed to take the two data out after a scare on a 1-4-3 checkout. 25. And we're talking about two of the most prolific dart players Outside. on the planet could have won the ball. when they're playing close to home. But this is neutral territory. So Suzuki has won the first small battle. The right to throw first in, well, potentially five 100. legs if he goes a distance. I think this final is going to be won and lost on the scoring element. I think if Greaves scores bananas, then Suzuki doesn't win. Simple as that. 120. Almost did exactly that, but for a bounce out with her opening visit. Have you ever thought about getting your hair like that, Murph? Bit of a plait in a loop on either side. Look, as a man of a certain age, I'm glad that I still could if I wanted to. Way to turn that around. 95. Bows against bow. Bakura Suzuki. Uh, we said at the start of the day, didn't we, Paul? I think we agreed that it's probably of all the players in the women's series, she's been 45. the one that's probably underperformed the most. We would have expected her to have had a, a rather meatier share of titles than just one. I think that's very fair to say, but at the same time, she's got to travel the most distance, which has to be brought 100. into the equation. No women's series event has gone more than a couple of days. So to travel halfway across the world for a couple of days of action, sometimes with jet lag, is very hard to handle. 41. Whereas if you go to Barnsley, for instance, and your bow grieves, it takes less than an hour. It takes more than an hour for Suzuki to get to the airport. 45. <laughs> Rather ironic that Bo didn't play in the batch in Barnsley, but has made it to Hildesheim, isn't it? Just adds to the mystique. But Makuru is one of six players that have won a Women's Series event. 45. He could have seven before Lisa Ashton even throws a competitive dart today. I mentioned that semi-final in 2020. 109. That's an excellent setup, by the way, for Bo Greaves. They did meet earlier this month, in fact, the pair of them in the WDF's Austrian Darts Open, and Greaves won that final by eight legs to five. You can see she's feeling the heat a little bit. It's a bit sticky down there. 75. This is a very large arena, but the heat in Hildesheim is pretty hot. It's a great guide. But I think she's going to try and go over the top. I think the other side was the better player. This side. No score. Sandwiches between the two to give Makuru a survival chance here in leg one. Well, she's only going to get one dart at double now. A disastrous start for Makuru Suzuki as Bo's head continues to shake after those misses at double. Clear bed for Makuru, though. 15. She fails to find it. That's the thing about those shots. You must get two. But it's two visits for Greaves. This time going to the left is the right play. Game shot. And does go through the posts in a good way this time to break the throw in seven visits, ultimately. Not the best start of this final, but I've always said, Murph, misses make drama. Well, there were five darts there that were... A on the wire really weren't they before the 6-1 went in so it's going to harm her average having scored zero for five darts 59. but I've said it many times it's one of the intricacies of this game that a well thrown dart can actually end up being a hindrance when it comes to the doubles and indeed trebles at times as well problem 95. is you miss outside a double and block it then you've got no other option but to stay there this is true you've got to find those double segments from angles and it's something that you do have to practice 140 Suzuki's route to the final took out Katie Sheldon by five legs to two in the semis that great game that you saw on this streaming platform against De Graff four legs to three ultimately to Suzuki 
Aleta Vaya in the last 16 of the Netherlands, won by four legs to two. And Dora Stein again of the Netherlands by four legs to nil in the last 32. In her first game of the day, Laura Furking of Germany with her second best average of the day. So she did start very buoyantly in that mid 80s range, lost it a little bit. 100. In two of her last three games, but she's going to need to be quite high if she wants to win this title. One hundred and forty. Well, it's no treble, two treble. The pattern of visits in this leg for Boa Greaves. One hundred and thirty-one. So, Miss Big Number for Suzuki and a chance for Bo to double a lead. Might stay there. Isn't. And that was the wrong play on two different 42. counts. One, the guide for the 60 was good. And going bull instead of 42 is the wrong play. Double 16. And Suzuki yes. is level. She had to wait for the call from the referee because that one was nowhere near the middle, but did register. Yeah, I like the idea of staying there. Advocated that. And I've had the stats backed up by uh, the boffins at Darts Oracle. And so actually treble 20 is 95. the best thing to do with a two dart combination your opponent on a finish if you've got two darts in hand that is we've already seen a couple of missed singles from Suzuki in 95. this match as well and that could be a symptom of two things one spending too much time practicing troubles because if you spend too much time in this area you neglect going for different areas of the board and the other one is Board's just one. thinking that you're going to hit it without focusing and I would never accuse Makuru of not focusing, but maybe she's just losing the 100. height of the throw around that, say, 13 or 14 mark on the board, which is at the same height. By the way, while we're in the early stages of this final, just want to make you aware that the draw has been done for the <laughs> second event of the day. You can read that for yourself on the Dark Connect website, tv.darkconnect.com. But notable that this pair are in opposite half of the draw again, so could make it a 56. brace of final meetings. But the one draw that really leaps off the page is at first round, an effective prelim match featuring Eileen de Graff and Dieter Hedman. 60. At which point could it possibly be where one of those ladies says over the next 10 minutes, shouldn't these events be seeded? <laughs> Well, on that evidence, you'd probably say, maybe. 100. The interesting thing for Dieter is she's only played one event this year, so probably wouldn't be a seed. Exactly. Could that was my next point. Would have been maybe more likely to get that draw, even though she's got it. It's not as if Dieter has got a massive run in the bank today already, so you'd have to have the Graf as the favourite in that one, and Bo Greaves the favourite here in leg three. Ninety-eight. That's decent. It might take a shot like this to change a match. That doesn't worry the 60, so the shot is off. And Greaves has the decision to make. This is the number, Murph, where you find out 70. if they like 16s or tops. Or just 16. Game she shot. finds double four, and Bo Greaves breaks again to lead this match 2-1. Do you know what I don't get? I've come from the Pro Tour as a player and I've been in the commentary box for about six years now with yourself. And I know three ladies who do that on 52. 140. Fallon Sherrick, Dieter Hedman and Bo Greaves now. And going for treble 12 there makes no sense to me. It's just fraught with peril. Guarantee yourself two darts at a double instead of the risk of hitting the treble nine or even the single nine, 81. and robbing yourself of a shot. It doesn't make any sense. However, she pulled it off and wrestled back the advantage. Just want to go back to a quick point as well for the next tournament. There will be a relief to, to Bo and Makuru that they haven't been drawn out in the first match. I remember Laura Turner, when she reached her first final, she was straight back on the board five minutes later. Credit to her, she reached the final 81. again that day, but... Yeah, a bit of a break for Bo, who's got a bye, and Makuru will be playing in the second of the matches on her board. Yeah, I think that's a good thing for both of these players, that they do have 100. that little break. 
I played in tournaments in Australia where it's multiple events in a day and honestly if you if you win that final and go on to the next game you're flying but 100. if you lose it's a it's a very difficult prospect one different quirk to for, for the women players particularly Bo Greaves who's heavily focused on WDF events so far she produces a perfect setup shot a perfect visit they often play down to the semi-finals, don't they? And then wait for the final, either later that night or the following day. 100. I understand why they do that. But I think as players and as supporters, you want to see a winner as soon as possible. Game shot. And the winner of this match could well be Bo Greaves because the scoring element of this game is starting to be owned by her. Well, I wanted to ask you specifically from a playing perspective, Paul. Surely you, you're playing well, you've got through to a final. You just want to get the job done there and then because how many times 60. you hear it's all on the day and it might be a very different player that turns up for the next day. Absolutely. If I'm in a semi-final of a tournament and the final is played a day or two later, I wouldn't be happy about that. 140. I always wanted to play in a tournament where the conclusion was on that day, in an open tournament, of course. I'm not talking about events where you play one match per day. That's totally different because you peak for that game every day. <coughs> But as far as tournament play is concerned, like this, you want to have a winner. Well, Greaves is inching towards being that 100. winner. When it, in truth, has looked like that for the majority of the day. She hasn't been flawless. It hasn't been without danger and drama. 60. But she has been the best. I think that's fair to say in her five matches to get here. She hasn't been taken to a deciding leg in any of them I think 91. the most difficult was the defeat of Lorraine Wynn Stanley in the last 16 and based on what we've seen from her so far today and in this final this isn't a late 80s average but there's so much more to give well in that match against Lorraine she missed the ball for a 170 not going to get the chance in this visit Forty-five. Bit of a spectacular shot coming up, potentially. If you miss a 170, you're not pleased. Forty-three. But every player with this kind of talent fancies a bull 25 bull. There's one. There's the 25. Oh, 100. that was close. What an effort from Greaves. Yeah, for a split second, I thought it was in. I'm sure she thought it was in when it left her hand. It would have been a brilliant moment from Bo Greaves in this final, but it edges her further towards winning the match. This 59. remaining 25 to break and move within one. No missed single here. Game and shot. no missed double. Just too good so far. And it is Greaves 4-1 up. Suzuki in all sorts of trouble. Earlier on today, we saw her compatriot Yukio Sakaguchi 3 0 down against Dita Hedman and 1 4 3. Four straight legs needed for Suzuki. Ultimately, against someone who's playing a little bit better than the great Hedman did a little bit earlier. 140. We'll have to find something, Makuru, but even. That something might not be enough. 57. Has to punish a treble as turn from Bo Greaves. It's got to be lethal from here, simple as that. And when you put a dart player of Makuru's ilk under this kind of scrutiny in a final, they either sink or swim, and more often than not, Suzuki swims. 96. But this is a lot to ask. Proximity to that 60 bed in this leg has been 60. excellent. But even now, you would fancy Greaves will have six starts from 208 for a first PDC title. 60. Well, no treble. She's going to fancy taking this out for the title, you know. 54. 
If the first start is high in the 60, it's possible. Right there. And there. 120. She did fancy it and almost got it. Suzuki has no choice but to take this out. Treble 17. Beyond her. And Bo can now put the match beyond her. And it could be a glory 47. for Bo Greaves for the first time in the PDC. Double seven. Ooh, splits it. Suzuki survives. Three match darts for Greaves, all missed. And this is what Suzuki took out in her quarterfinal on this board. And she 40. can't take 60 this time. How many does Bo need? Only Inside one. And, the match. and Bo Greaves leaves women's event number 13 with the title, her very first PDC title. It will be the first of many. At the age of 18, she comes into 2022 in the PDC for the first time, and her hit rate is 100%.